With three practical examples, let's see how can we count things in Excel using one criteria or more. Let's start with the first example where I have a data set that is basically a sales report with information such as the date, the item name, the quantity, the freight, the total sold or cost, the region, and also the customer name. Let's say I want to know how many records or orders I have for each one of the regions north, west, east, and south. Because if you take a look here in the data set, I have a column to those regions. However, if I manually count the regions, let's say sound the first time, south the second one, and here I have sound two more times, so four and so on, it's going to take a long time to complete this task. So I have in Excel a function that can help me with that. That is equal sign and then count if the count if function can count cells in Excel that meet with a certain criteria, let's say. So let me double click in this count if function, one, two, and then the range that I want to use is the range where I have the regions. And it can either be a small range like this, or I can actually click over the letter F to select the entire column. Comma. Now my criteria can be again either let's say coat and then the name of the region north coat and coat close parentheses and then enter and it's going to work but i can also instead of manually input the name of the region in between quotations i can get rid of this information and select the cell that contains this text so it's much easier let's hit enter here okay 19 is the result uh anyways but let's Let's go here to the right bottom corner of the cell and then click hold and drag DAO because the way we can cop this formula DAO as we can actually see here. So north 19, west 32, east 60, south 26. So those are the results. So this is how basically we can count things in Excel using a certain criteria. But now let's move on to a different example, the example number two, where I need to count how many times each one of those customers appear here on this list. So as we can see, I have a lot of different names, but maybe those names can be repeated uh, in, in this list right here. So to know how many times each one of those names appears in the list, I can use again a count if function. So let's take a look here, equal sign, count if double click in the function one two the range let's select the entire column a trauma and my criteria is going to be the name that i have here to the left and then enter okay so i know that austin appears in the list five different times and if i click hold and drag down at the bottom right corner of the cell or double click one two i can complete easily this task However, maybe we have a problem here. Let's see if I can show you. Uh, maybe here we have the problem. Let's take this name here as example. This name is equal to this name right here. So it means that is the same customer. However, I don't want to have repetitive values to be used in my result. So instead of using this list right here uh, next to my result, I can actually copy this list and then paste just the unique values or without the repetitions. So let me again select the entire column A, right click and then copy. Now let's go here to another column, maybe the column E and then right click and then I can paste values or whatever. Now let's go here to data and here to the right, I can go to remove duplicates. Let's click here, okay. Okay, and we're done. So instead of have this large list right here to the left now we have a much smaller list let me increase the width of this list right here this column and then i want to do again a count of those names equal sign count if function double click one two the range again is not going to be the column e because i need to count the original list so let me select the column a again trauma however the criteria can be the names in the new list hit enter okay let me bring this formula down one two okay we're done so this is the result it's just another way to 
uh, show or display the result. Now let's move on to the, the last but not least important example, the third one, where again I have the same data set as the first example, uh, sales report, and I need to this time using two different criteria in order to know how many records I have for a specific product or item to a, a specific region. So to do it, I can again use the equal sign count if function. However, this time I need to use the count ifs function because I have more than just one single criteria. I have two criteria. However, if you have three, four, five, or more, you can use you can still use the count ifs. Okay, double click one two. The first criteria range can be either the region or the item because I need to use both of those criteria into my function so I can choose whatever I want to start first. But let's start first with the item. Let me click in the column B like this and then comma. My first criteria is going to be the item. So let me click here in the cell which I have this name. However, here is very important because we know if I click, hold and drag a formula down in Excel, all the reference are going to be moved out too, like this. However, I cannot move this reference down because the way I'm going to lost the reference of the item. OK, so I need to fix or I need to freeze this reference right here. And to do it, I can press the F4 key, hit the F4 key like this. Now I have a dollar sign before the column and a dollar sign before the row. And this indicates that the reference is going to stay always in the same location, co or coordinate, okay? Uh, comma. The criteria range number two is going to be the region, comma. And to match with the criteria range, the criteria number two is going to be the region itself that I have here to the left comma, or actually, sorry, uh, hit enter, because we're done. Uh, both of those criteria are already here within the function. And if you have a third or fourth or whatever criteria, you can continue to use comma, criteria range, criteria, comma, and so forth, okay? But let me bring this formula down to cop to all the other cells that I have, and we're done. So this item uh, has six units or six records to the south, 12 to east, eight to west, and so forth. But if I change here, let's use another one, maybe laptop, and then enter, I'm gonna have different results. So this is how we can use the count if function in Excel and also the count ifs function here in Excel. And if you want to see more videos about this subject, let me know, comment down below. And if you want to see a different video, Comment down below too, because I can read your comment and I can bring the video that can help you out.